Now, we, we, we skipped this earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's a deep breath. When did you find out? Yeah. That one. What? When did I find out what? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like nobody gonna, knows. Right, like you took the ball, bash. When did you find out that you uh, was interested in? Oh, uh, that I like girls since I was a kid. There wasn't no. When did I find out? It was when I got comfortable. Dating. Oh, so you always felt this I way? I always been knew that. Respect. I always been knew. My aunts and everything even told me that when I finally came out, it was like, girl, we don't care. <laughs> We've been knew that since he was a kid. Mm -hmm. Like they told me, like, we was waiting for you to tell us. That was it. My mother was the only one who had a little hard time accepting it, but she knew too. Is you see it in your child. That's why when some people like it's taught. When people have children that are gay, they be like, no, that shit ain't taught. My child was really just born that way. I don't know where the f mm -hmm. shield he got that from. <laughs> they were just that mm -hmm. born that way. Respect. So I agree. that's how it was. I had I dated Nick. I was never really fully like, oh, I just love women. I always knew I was attracted to women though. I dated guys because I was taught that's the right thing to do. Oh, oh, hold on. We, we out of here. She's gonna <laughs> keep going. You gonna take us out to the moon? Go ahead. I was just saying, Go. I was taught that. So I tried it. You know, it, wasn't, it wasn't for me. It wasn't. So, you, so your initial feelings was to a, let's say, to a woman. Yes. Initially. Yes. And then you were taught that the right thing to do, Not, and I'm not saying this, but I was taught that women <laughs> date men. That's it. You were taught that dating men was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. So you really didn't like men. You were forced to like men. Um, Can I get a horse, please? I wouldn't say forced. I got. I was never not attracted to them, like I said, but that wasn't my main preference. And also back then, it wasn't a lot of women that were openly gay either, at my age, at least. At that time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, at that time, it was like, I knew, all, like, older females were, but they wasn't checking for me. They was, all, like, they was older ladies, but. Kaya. Yeah, I used to date, I used to date this boy, right? He bought me Uggs and I gave it to my girlfriend. That's what I was doing. So. School. Like, you see? <laughs> like that. Because I wasn't an Uggs girl. I wore tens. Why would you buy me So Uggs? when you cross the line. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chill because I don't want to get in trouble, bro. Like, I know, it's All hard. Right. It's hard. No offense. So you gotta say no offense before everything. I'm nah, about. nah, I can't because they, 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 yeah, it's very, very serious. You don't know what we meant. To. Please, I'm so tempted to. Act. Ah! But I, I don't want to be invasive. I just, you know, if you could share, you know. All right, forget. It. <laughs> so when you, <laughs> you yeah, I, I feel bad for y'all. I, I think it's different it. because that that. That guess we had before, he said it was okay. He answered okay, but then he left and expressed differently. I don't that think was crazy. Yeah. See, that I'm not gonna, I'm not finna do that. She, she's not gonna. I don't think I'm not finna do that. But, like, but, but, I don't have the, time for that. But the community, not saying she's not a part of the community. She stated and salute. Mm -hmm. I support whatever it is they want to do, but all the extra, like That's you know true. how black people, some black people make rate everything about race, and if ain't sometimes I feel like some. People of that community do that. I'm not going to say all. Let me be very clear on my words. Some people do that. And whoever want to hate me for that, I really don't give a f It's the truth. Some people, black people make everything about race and some of them make everything about your choice, preference, sexual preference. And it's not about that. It ain't about that. Maybe if they see this, they won't. That's okay. She, we out of here. She went, another, she went to another world. What? Listen, I love who love me. I respect it. So let me ask and you And I love question. everybody. So when you decided to explore your re oh <laughs> when you when you decided to deal with a man in that way, was it curiosity? I could, I guess you could say it was me, yeah, figuring out my sexuality. What you really wanted to do? Yeah. Got it. Yes. Cause I remember when it happened. Yes. I was kind of upset. You didn't put me on. You like? I had to tell you that. That's what you said. <laughs> she said, well, I got to tell you. You that. ain't put me on. I was bugged out, right? Yeah. I was just overprotective of you, man. You like, I, Like, you was my heart, yeah. son. Like, what? You wanted to fight at my first girlfriend for no reason. I remember she called her brothers on you. I will not forget that. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she did they Thank God they knew me. Yes, because that went left for no reason. It did. It did. It was, it was, it was, it was bad. Yeah. I, you know, I had a very, very... 
hard time um, communicating with people and showing respect. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought I was just this big person because I had this record that everybody liked and I was just mean for no reason. I didn't have to be. A lot of people liked me. I slapped the chips out of somebody's hand, one of your friend's yes, hands. you did. In the movie theater. Yeah. I did a lot of stuff. I don't even know what the f*** that stemmed from. I, I just, just see Nacho Sly. I just did a lot of stuff, man. Said, and, oh and boy, it's time to go. <laughs> one thing, why I love you so much because you stuck with me through it all. Uh-huh. It was messed up, though. You know, mm-hmm. and, and it was messed up. I can't have no excuse. Listen, we, we grew and we learned from that. I heard a lot of people's feelings. <laughs> Listen, people feeling get hurt. There was some people feeling probably going to hurt about what I just said, but the truth is yeah. the truth. I like that girl, too. But, I like that. Who, I, wanted oh, to yeah, yeah. I wanted to take her down. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I did. I like that. I thought she was ill. <laughs> oh, man. I like that. <laughs> if I catch I thought she was ill. <laughs> You got to be careful. <laughs> What's CC show say? You got to be careful. <laughs> be careful. Be careful with me. Be careful what you're saying. You had an accident in my car, too. BMW, I had no gas in it. Remember yeah, that? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Not a you a- Can you tell us about that accident? Why? You sent me. Who drove to the house, as a matter of fact? You didn't drive. He was not in that. You sent someone to, all the way to Queens to come get me on an empty f- tank. And here I go. They making me drive because I have a license. This sh- just cuts off out of nowhere on the highway. And here goes this. Thank God. If I, see, if I knew better, I probably would have got way more money back then. A f- off-duty cop sped right into the back of me with my, with my blinkers on and everything. Wow. Finger broke, knee broke, everything broke. Bree Br- Beauty is perfectly fine. I don't know how the f- that happened. <laughs> And I'm all banged the f*** up. Floor, phone was on the highway and everything. I'm on a stretcher. The cop gave me gave me a ticket while I was on a stretcher in the hospital. Oh, no. For his car running out of gas. I was able to fight it because I said, how the f*** y'all know that's the story? Like, how y'all know the car didn't malfunction or anything? Dude, so. Remember what they found on, on the scene, too? What? Not because of you, I'm just saying. I'm about to say, what, what was found? Because I wasn't, that wasn't made clear to me what was found. I'm that. Only thing they found in mine was my cell phone. Thank God, my Nokia at the time. <laughs> Tell me, because this is new to me and I'm dead serious. Then they found a weapon on the scene? That wasn't mine, and that I'd never heard about. And I swear to Taikim, I never heard that. You never heard that? No. If there was a weapon on the scene, it was the cop that hit us. It was off duty cops that hit us. Ain't nobody in our car have a weapon. I was me, Leela, my Natasha's sister, Leela. She damn sure ain't they have They found that. my weapon that I hid under the car. Why would you send the car? <laughs> and I told your mother. Your mother was like, what? That's what they found it. I saw it. I saw it in the bag. It was under the tire. That's how you know my mother lo- love you, because she never told me that. She never told you? It's your first time hearing it? Yeah. They found a 357 Magnum. My mother was more upset because I went to Brookdale Dirty Hospital, whatever the f*** y'all call that sh- in Brooklyn. That pissed her off because when she came to see me, it was like blood on the counter. So she made a scene and she had me transfer it to LIJ. That's what pissed her off more than anything. She didn't give a f- about nothing else. I said, I said, Dawn, what's going on? What's up? I drove past there, man. There was a bag on there. And I don't know. But they, they, I was crazy. It was, I remember forgetting, it was a Nike bag. It was a three. I saw it. It flew out the bag. I saw the three. I saw the, I saw it on the floor. Circuit. Why would you send me a car with no gas and a gun? It wasn't in the car. It was under the car. <laughs> Big difference. Big difference. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's a big difference. Oh, man. You got some I stories. Rem- I remember telling her mother that. Her mother said, what? 